This is KI's Work 2.1 uh, electric sit-stand desk. We're showing it here as a back-to-back -back, uh, formation. What you can see here at the moment is the uh, one desk at its lowest height, which is 640, and the other desk at its maximum height, which is 1260. That's part of the compliance to the uh, British standard uh, EN 527 uh, standard of having that height range. That height range is actually achieved by the three-stage actuator. There are two-stage options on the marketplace It won't give you that extent of height range and therefore won't comply to BSEN 527. If I can bring you around to look at some of the key features on the system, which is particularly centred around the cable management. If you take a look at the floor grommet there, we're bringing the cables up from the floor. On the underside of that lower cable tray, there were three access points allowing for the grommet position to be anywhere along there and not having long lengths of cables running to the underside of the cable tray. The lower cable tray has a lift up, drop down access flap and on a back to back situation this is shared between both workstations either side. There's ample room to get got boxes, RCDs, power supplies etc etc uh, uh, in there. Sitting on top of that cable tray we've designed a trough that allows the cable chain that connects the lower tray to the upper tray to fold down and sit neatly in that trough. This prevents people catching their legs uh, on it when they're in a seating position. This then allows us to look at the upper cable tray which is a hinge down tray with maximum access you're going the full width of of the desk if i bring that up you can now see the chain coming up and how that then reverses what we've just seen You'll also notice while we're looking here on this particular one that there are some uh, what we call spigots here. These wouldn't normally be here unless you're having uh, a screen uh, shared between the two work services. We've literally just taken that off to be able to demonstrate it. So they wouldn't be there if you didn't need that. Moving across now from a safety point of view and part of the BSEN 527 requirement is to have an anti-collision capability within the desk, which means that when the desk comes down, if it actually comes against anything solid at all, in this instance, it's gonna be the arm of a chair, you'll see that the desktop immediately moves back up again. If I repeat that, just so that you can see how that works again, it means that fingers can't get trapped between the underside of the desktop and the arm of a chair. Normally, in a situation where you have a bench, where you've got a run of desks running, you would always have a minimum 25 millimeter gap, finger gap between the bench here and the bench there. That again prevents any fingers getting caught in between desks. In terms of environmental uh, accreditations, it's something that's really important for us within KI, is that uh, both the framework and the desktop have been through rigorous testing. The one that perhaps is the most relevant is what we refer to as EPD, which is an external company that have undertaken an evaluation of the product contents and materials, and we've been awarded an environmental product declaration against Work 2.1. Just a couple of other salient points, just to add on. Work 2.1 is a UK manufactured uh, product wholly UK manufactured all of the framework is on a 25 year warranty the electrical actuators and the control box are on a 10 year warranty the desktops also on a 25 year warranty and we have a minimum continuity of supply of the product of 10 years meaning that any point guaranteed within the next 10 years you can come back and add on to it and we, you're guaranteed getting exactly the same product and specifications and warranties.